Yo, what's going on everybody? This is Faith, you know, it's little bro. And, uh, boy, oh boy, do I have a little something special. Which, uh, my old little 2019 buddy, you've done me well. You've done me very good. But now, it's 2022. And, uh, just so, you know... If y'all are like, y'all looked at the thumbnail, you're like, wait, what? Is that what I think it is? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, here's the thing. I'm going to build this guy, right? I'm not going to actually, like, do any kind of, like, build video or montage or anything like that. I think, if anything, what I'll just do right now is I'm going to go ahead and just go through it. And kind of give y'all an explanation of all the parts that I was able to get. And um, I'll probably just go ahead and build it. And then I will show y'all what it looks like afterwards. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I'll start from this side and work this way. And tell y'all about each and every little part I actually ended up going with. So, I guess the first thing I want to go over is the case that I got which is a Corsair and what's awesome about it is it is actually a mesh front um, I should be able to pull this guy off but I'm not gonna do it just yet and the very top is just like my other one it should support 120 if I'm not mistaken it might even support more it should be able to support 120 millimeter uh, fans as well as I think what is it like because uh, this I believe is the 120 and this is like what like a 200 mil but anyways um yeah um looks like we have two USB 3 ports up here which is pretty damn awesome you got the power button reset switch audio jack I don't worry about that too much I believe it is tempered glass and the exact model of this one if i have the box right here it is a it's a corsair 220 or 220t rgb so i believe it's a mid tower as well so i believe inside of here these front uh fans that are here i think these are rgb fans and if I'm not mistaken, I don't know if you can see that from here, but over there, there's what looks like it's going to be the controller for the lights. So yeah, that's going to be my case. And for my CPU, obviously I'm going with Ryzen. Um, compared to my old build, which had a Ryzen 5 3000 series, it had a... Originally it was a 2600 and then I had to upgrade to a 3600 and now I'm going to the 5000 series. So what I have here is an, let me see if I can get that to zoom in correctly. It's an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core 12 thread. Um, what's really awesome about this guy is it's based at 3.7 uh, gigahertz. And it's maximum boost is 4.6 gigahertz. So, I mean, this guy compared with what I'm about to show y'all next. Ooh, I can't freaking wait to see what this thing's going to do. So, here it is, everybody. The big guns. I mean... I don't really honestly think I have to give this thing an intro. This thing just speaks for itself. I mean, it's it may not be the 3070 or 3080 that I want, but dude, it's a 3060 Ti. Bruh. Bruh. If I could focus. That's why I got it. Ray tracing and DLSS. So, oh, I can't wait to see what Cyberpunk looks like when I put this guy on. Oh, I just, oh, okay. 
I got I was able to get one. And all oh, the story behind this, which you know what? I think we have time. So here's the thing. The store that I went to here where I live, it's not necessarily like micro center or anything like it's kind of like that, but like a lower kind of more homeschooled kind of like I don't know how to explain it's it's not as big as micro center but it's it's a pretty decent little it's a decent computer hardware store like they they sell everything you need um but anyways it's like a local business in a way um they had like four or five of them in stock the caveat the catch you can't buy it by itself. If I was able to just go in and buy it by itself, it would have been $500. Not exactly 500, but it would have been like five something, between 500 and 50 something to like 600, some, somewhere around there. It was actually going for retail price, 556 or something, I can't remember. But not scalped, fuck eBay brand new ha i haven't even opened it yet so yeah um basically the caveat was i had to buy it as a bundle meaning i have to buy it with the graphics card the motherboard and a cpu you know basically a dedicated like motherboard and cpu to go with but that was the only way I was going to be able to get my hands on it. They wouldn't let me just take it out like that. Just by itself. Nope. Which I actually like that. Because that's how you mitigate um, scalping. And you know and all that. So yeah take that eBay. And your thousand two thousand dollar freaking scalp price. Next, I chose uh, some Crucial Ballistics RAM, which, I mean, dude, I, I mean, it's the same kind of brand that I was using in this one when I first started. So, th I mean, this, honestly, this right here just, just speaks for itself. 16 gig kit, going to be two 8 gig sticks, as you can see. Um, DDR4, 3200. And the best part, they're RGB. So, I mean, I can't complain about that. Next will be my M. I have an NVMe M.2 drive. It's going to be a one terabyte, and it is a Samsung. It's a 970 Evo, which um, this guy is going to pretty much be what holds my operating system. So chances are, what's going to end up happening is. I'm probably going to salvage my old hard drive because all my data is in there. I have two of them at this point. I have a regular SSD, a 500 gig that's holding all my my operating system. And then my 4 terabyte that's holding games plus other you know information on it. I'm going to find out if I can, like put the operating system from that hard drive onto here if i can't do that then i'm probably just going to do a fresh install of windows and pretty much see how it goes from there i'll just make this my 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 main hard drive but then of course the other ones will be my secondary so this is going to be quite an upgrade from my first motherboard it should still be the AM4, I believe, but this one is a B550. See, the the motherboard that I have in my older PC was an MSI 
B450 Gaming Plus motherboard, but this one, this is an Asus. It's an it's a it's going to be the Asus Tough Gaming B550 Plus, which check uh, this out. Obviously, we have you know it's it's a Ryzen board, obviously. Um, This thing has PCIe 4.0. And this thing's already like, dude, this is perfect. It's a uh, AMD Ryzen 5000X desktop ready, which means it's already ready to go with this. That's freaking perfect. And um yeah. And of course, because I'm going to be using a you know, a 3000 card and a Ryzen 5000 series. Um, yeah, I went ahead and I'm going to go with a 750 watt power supply. It is an 80 plus uh, bronze rating. It's also a gaming tough, which is perfect. Asus gaming tough power supply. And Anyways, I mean, it pretty much has everything you need here. I'm going to assume it is fully modular because... It's not really showing, but it looks to me like all these cables are already going to be automatic black sleeved, which is going to be so much better than ketchup and mustard. So, I mean, hey, that's a plus. So, there you go. 750 watt is perfect enough, and it, it is Asus, so it should be good. And last but not least, the last of the Asus uh, Tough Gaming uh, accessories that I'm going to put on this thing is an LC240 RGB it's a liquid AIO cooler CPU cooler and um, I believe it's a 120 yeah 120 millimeter fans is what it's going to have and the dimensions of the pump are right here the radiator dimensions I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit if it's up to 27 then yeah th I mean this this case of mine it should be big enough um, yeah um, this is pretty much gonna be a very decent build I mean I'm actually gonna have it water cooled and I mean RGB fan so there you go so yeah um, that's gonna be my build so like I said I'm not going to actually record myself doing the entire build because obviously my shitty phone is really all I have at the moment and um, if I had better equipment of course it would be a different story but yeah I just want to kind of go through all the parts that I got um, so yeah so y'all have an example of what it is I'm building I'm going to go through the vigorous task of putting it all together and hopefully when I'm done I will you know, get back with y'all, maybe boot it up, and uh, see what I have to go from there. So, yeah. Anyway, so here's the uh, midway. Uh, this is my midway progress at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I have a pretty decent sized mess. Um, I started like. I started like around like ah, six, seven ish, and yeah, it's already it's already getting late. But because I'm not a quitter, I'm actually going to keep trucking. In fact, I would like to show y'all something pretty cool. So far, this is where I am. Um, so at the moment my AIO here originally was going to go up here the pro and because these three fans in the back they were originally here they, they kind of came with the, the case and I was going to leave them there at first and I was like you know what because of how this uh, I could put the light down real quick so basically because of how this tube right here all that mess is because I'm wearing a static bracelet um, this 
tube right here because of because of the fact I wanted to keep the water block itself like facing right side up and not upside down or sideways or whatever which I successfully got done just here a little while ago you can barely see the emblem on it but because of all this I I knew this would happen it would curl a lot if I did it like this so I was like you know what screw it I'll just put it up here unfortunately the problem with that is if you take a very quick little look back here at the motherboard's VRM heat sinks. I mean, there's barely any clearance for the fan. So, put one and two together. You know, look how you know, thick the average fan is. So... Yeah, um, I was having a clearance issue, basically. So I had to scrap that idea. So I was like, you know what? And I think that's what's kind of taking me a while at this point. Also, not to mention... Um, I still got all this to deal with. But... Okay, so I got the TV hooked up. And I got the power on. Um... It's pretty much already built and ready to go. Here's the moment of truth. Let me make sure that my power is in fact on. Need that done. Reset. Let me cycle it. Okay. I see lights. You can hear it. You can hear the pump going. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> okay. Well. There you have it. All I gotta do is oh, okay. Here we go. Um, um, there it is. Asus Tough Gaming B550, um, Ryzen 5 5600X, six core, uh, thirty-seven. Hmm. Uh, I need to eventually change that. Uh, no keyboard, no mouse, nothing at the moment. I just booted up real quick. M.2 SSD, 970 Evo, one terabyte. Uh, new CPU. Installed. That's your setup configuration. All I gotta do now is very simple. I literally have a USB that here that says OS because that right there is Windows 10 Pro. So. I guess I'll go ahead and do that now. And yeah. What do y'all think? That's my new system. Water cooled and everything. With 3060. Well. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. I didn't get to actually do a montage or anything. But I started at like around 6. It's already 1 o'clock in the morning. It is late. But this is my new build, and sheesh, I have to say, sheesh, look at this sexy bitch. Mmm. Oh. oh. I'm just happy I finally finished it. Dude, that emblem looks so good. Especially with that, all the, like, tough gaming logo. Oh, my God, this is awesome. Anyways, I'm gonna start fucking with this, and, uh, Yeah. Hopefully soon, I'll be streaming. So, if y'all are uh, interested in uh, seeing what's about to happen later on pretty soon, you know, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, pretty soon, I'm going to be streaming with an RTX 3060 Ti. So, y'all have a good one. Peace. And uh, last but not least, before anything else, yeah, let me just kind of, uh, 
some stuff didn't come off correctly, but it's all good. Yeah. Still pretty satisfying though. There she is. There she is. Yeah. Anyways.